In this video, we'll show you how to prepare for an installation of Smart Teamworks Room or Connected Edition. There are a number of important steps to complete before you download and install Smart Teamworks software. These steps will help make sure all of Smart Teamworks' features, such as screen sharing, calendar and exchange integration, apps, and so on, work correctly. Issues with Smart Teamworks can often be traced to missing one of the pre-installation steps. First, make sure the meeting room computer meets the minimum requirements for Smart Teamworks. Visit smarttech.com and navigate to the Smart Teamworks support page. The Smart Teamworks Room and Connected Edition installation and configuration guide includes a list of requirements the computer must meet. Also, if you're installing Smart Teamworks for use with a SmartBoard interactive display with IQ, it's important to make sure the display's firmware and IQ software have been updated. Using earlier versions of the firmware and IQ software can lead to issues with Smart Teamworks, so you'll need to update them before you continue. To check the display's firmware version, tap Home on the display and then tap Settings. Next, tap About in the System Settings area. You'll find the current firmware version under the build number in the Board Details area. If the firmware version doesn't meet the requirements listed in the guide, go to the Downloads page on SmartTech.com and browse to the Display's Firmware section. Select the latest firmware version for the display and follow the instructions to install the update. Now that you have the latest firmware version on the display, check to make sure you have the latest version of IQ software. On the display, tap Home, then Settings, and scroll to the Auto Update area. Next, tap Check for Updates Now. If an update is available, tap Apply Update Now. After you've made sure the hardware meets the minimum requirements, the next step is to set up the IT infrastructure and network. Smart Teamworks has a number of dependencies that you need to review to make sure the features in Smart Teamworks will work within your organization's IT infrastructure. The first one is that you'll need to set up the Meeting Rooms account in Microsoft Exchange and Active Directory or Azure Active Directory. This enables Smart Teamworks Calendar and file service features. The second dependency is an Exchange Web Service, which is needed to sync the Meeting Room Accounts Calendar to Smart Teamworks. For more details about these dependencies, see Chapter 2 of the Installation and Configuration Guide, linked in the description of this video. After you've reviewed these dependencies, create a Meeting Room Resource account on the Exchange server. This step should be completed by the person who administers Microsoft Exchange. If that's not you, get the Exchange Administrator to help you. After you've created the account, open a PowerShell console and start a Microsoft Online Service session. There are a few specific commands you'll need to execute in the PowerShell console, which will allow Smart Teamworks to get the correct information from the Exchange server. See Chapter 2 of the Installation and Configuration Guide, linked in the description below, for the commands you'll need. Now that you've reviewed dependencies and created the Meeting Room Resource account, set up the network for Smart Teamworks. First, connect the Meeting Room computer to your organization's local area network, ideally with a wired connection to provide the best performance. Wireless connections are also supported, but if you connect wirelessly, we recommend that you disable unused network devices on the Meeting Room's computer to optimize network performance. If your organization doesn't allow full internet access, whitelist any URLs with the domains romago.com and airserver.com. You'll also need to open communication ports 80 and 443. Open port 8033 as well if you're installing Smart Teamworks Connected Edition. Also, if your organization requires proxy servers or 802.1x authentication, configure or install them on the meeting room computer. Complete the network configuration by setting up Smart Teamworks' screen share feature. To do this, you'll need to complete six steps. Disable access point AP isolation, also known as client wireless isolation or guest mode. Enable multicast, universal plug and play, and internet group management protocol. Set the video card's refresh rate to 60 Hz. Open the required TCP UDP ports. Refer to Chapter 2 of the Installation and Configuration Guide, linked in this video's description, for complete list of these ports. Configure the network to allow Bonjour, MDNS multicast, and network time protocol requests. If you're using Windows Defender Firewall, 
exclude this file for private and public domains. After the network has been configured, it's time to optimize the meeting room computer settings. To optimize the computer, set it up for use as a hub. This means turning off all system alerts and notifications, adjusting the power and sleep and update options in the following ways. Disable screensavers. Disable standby mode. Set the computer to never log out. Set the screen to never turn off. Disable automatic updates for major Windows operating system updates. While you're still in Windows settings, go to Devices, select Typing, enable Show Keyboard when not in tablet mode. You'll also need to configure the computer's video card. For color settings, enable Full Color Range. Next, set the quantization range to Full. In the computer's BIOS setup, disable any unused boot devices for the computer's boot sequence. Finally, make sure you install commonly used applications on the meeting room computer. This not only makes the apps available in Smart Teamworks' launcher, it also enables users to insert files into the Smart Teamworks whiteboard. For example, Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, and Adobe Acrobat must be installed before users can insert or interact with Word documents, PowerPoint presentations, or Adobe PDFs. After you've completed these steps, you can start to install Smart Teamworks software. See the video description below for links to resources to help you complete the installation and configuration. Thanks for watching this video. Like and comment below to let us know what you thought of this video and what other videos you'd like to see about Smart Teamworks.